starting this at 116.4 millivolts in the capacitor. My secondary coil going to an AV plug that's leading right back to the capacitor. Right now the voltage is starting to climb a little bit. I have to see if it keeps climbing. It's now been running for just a little over 15 minutes total. Voltage in the capacitor is still slowly rising. In a little bit I should be able to light a LED off the second wireless tower. Transistor I'm using, I use an old vintage transistor, it's a PMP transistor. It's R591. I just reversed the polarity on the capacitor here and I also have the emitter and collector hooked up backwards on it. It works both ways but running it backwards it uses real low current. I had it working as low as 30 milliamps. Still rising in the capacitor. See if it'll light a LED now. It just flickered for a second. Around 130 milliamps, it should light a LED. Let it go 15 more minutes and see if it's up there. now been running for just a little over 45 minutes. See how much voltage is in the capacitor now. Now it has just a little over 130 millivolts. See if that's enough to light this LED. No, not quite. Just blink for a second. I'll let it run a little bit longer. Voltage is still slowly climbing. It's been running for around an hour and a half now. Voltage in the capacitor is up to 134.5 millivolts. It's a two and a half volt, 10 farad capacitor. When I started, it was around 116 millivolts. The transistor being backwards, it might not have quite enough power to light this LED. Nope. That turns this transistor around the way it's supposed to go. has enough power but now it's losing power still doesn't have enough power to light it off the main tower but it'll light it off the wireless tower here
drain the voltage down a little bit. Turn it off and switch the transistor back around, see if it keeps climbing. <laughs> 